All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing you some examples of what we're gonna do today. Okay. Scott, can we see my screen with the Marvins? Yes. Marvins, cool. All right. So this is an example of a turnaround sheet. Um, so this is just Marvin in a very, very basic standing pose so we can um, see all of him. His hands aren't crossed over his body or anything like that. His legs aren't crossed. Um, and then we have the front side or profile view. This is like a three quarter view or um, a three quarter back because we're mostly seeing his back and then a back. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of different ones. So you don't have to necessarily do these positions, um, but I would recommend at least a front and a side to start out with. Those are like the two that you can't do without. Um, and then if you'll notice, there are three lines, one going across the top, one going here under his neck or under the helmet, and then one for like the ground where his feet are. These are a huge help because what we're trying to do with this model sheet is um, give us a reference of uh, what this character looks like from a variety of angles but they're all the same proportion, right? So the head's the same size in every single view, the feet are the same size in every single view, um, and these lines help us out with that. Let me find another one. Okay, so this is from Paranorman, and instead of doing the lines, they used a grid, um, because this was a stop motion movie with 3D figures, they really had to get this stuff down. Um, he, he has to be the same proportion for every single view because that's what the figure is gonna look like in 3D. So if you guys are sculpting, I know we had one artist last time that was doing sculpting. You're gonna wanna pay attention to this part of the model sheet because it, it helps you get those proportions exact from every single angle. Because when you're sculpting, you're sculpting every single angle um, on the same artwork, <laughs> on the same um, piece. Another one. Couple. This is Porky from last time. They did a tiny one here that's just back, side, and then a three quarter front. Um, but if you notice, they still drew the lines. This is for like his hoof his knee, the bottom of the chin, the nose, and the top of the head. So you can pick however many of these lines help you out. Um, you don't have to do one for, I wouldn't do one for every single like feature, you know, like that. You could, but then it gets kind of messy. Um, nice, thank you. Okay, whatever. There we go. Um, I would do bare minimum the top of the head and then the bottom of the feet and then maybe the bottom of the chin, depending on what your character looks like. A couple more. Okay. So this is Pumbaa. This is a really good example. Um, of doing the rough structure first. Generally, you don't wanna do all the little individual details for one and then jump to another one. You're gonna to wanna to stay in this area where they're all basic shapes like last time. So circles, this is like a huge wedge shape. So try to stay drawing like this for a while and then put in the details when you've got all the main poses in. I think I had one more to show you guys. These are from last time. 
no? Where was... Okay, here's Goofy. It might be a little hard to tell, um, but when they started out, they just did like circles and lines. So there's a line right here. They just did a line for his arm and then a line for the leg, and a line for the leg, and a circle for his body, and then like that. So it's kind of like a stick man drawing. So don't be afraid to start out drawing like your stick man drawings or whatever basic shapes make up your character. Try to do that first, and then you can go back and put in the details. And you notice this one has a bunch of notes. Sometimes drawing notes, helps. They do this because um, the model sheets would go out to a team of artists. Um, so for whoever was drawing in the animated short, they all had to draw Goofy the same way. He had to look like he was drawn by one person. So they would put together a big book of instructions, basically, of how to draw their characters and what they look like from every single angle um, to help with the animation. So I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna go up here. Do we have any questions so far on what we're doing? Doesn't look like there's any questions. So what I would do if you guys, you guys have um, the character that you're going to draw, I would start by drawing the view that you're most comfortable with. So if you usually draw your character from the front, I would start with the front. If you usually draw your character from the side or from three quarters, uh, I would start with that. I'm just gonna draw, here I wanna use this guy. I'm gonna keep mine really rough. Sometimes my hand hits the screen. It's a touch screen, ignore that. And then make sure you guys are using guidelines. It's hugely helpful. Don't try to start with just circle and then start drawing in, you know, your eyes because they might end up misplaced, you know, like that. So if I'm doing a front face, I'm gonna have a line dividing the head in half and then a line where the eyes go. Depending on how your character is, it might be there, it might be lower. You know, you guys know your own characters. So wherever the eyes are supposed to fit on the head. If you're doing a side view, this line is gonna be right here, right? It's gonna be on the edge of the head. And then the eye line's gonna be the same. I'm gonna put in. So there's only one eye because it's a side view. And then of course, if it's a back view, there are no eyes. You won't see the eyes. But I'll still divide it in half like that. And like there's the neck. Label this real quick. And then three quarters. I'm going to do a three quarters front turned a little bit this way. So this line is going to go towards the left because my character's head is turned towards the left. And then my eye line would still go in the middle, kind of like that. So these really, really rough guidelines allow me to know really quickly which direction the head is facing. I'm going to spread this out.
So it would be something like this. So to keep everything the correct proportions, let's just say I'm starting from the front. I'm drawing a very, very rough stick man person. Of course, all your characters look different, so you're going to use different shapes. But I have something like that. And we'll just pretend I drew in the arms and everything like that. Then what I would do, I would take a ruler. Shit, thank you. I would take a ruler and mark a straight line where the feet are. Those would usually match with the heels, so I have to fix this foot. It's a little too short, too long, excuse me. This line usually matches with the back of the heel, like that. I do my ruler again for the top of the head. and then also the bottom of the head, and then wherever else you find it would be helpful. You know, maybe the end of the body. So then if, I, if I'm doing everything all on one page, I know how big to make the head for each time. Those of you who have a light box, what you can do is actually do each view on a different paper. So I'm going to pretend I'm going to do another layer. Just pretend it's a second paper. And on the light box, you'll see through it kind of like that. And then I can go on top without drawing those extra lines and kind of trace over the size of the head and just know if it's a side view, thighs are gonna be like that. And the body is gonna be like that. And then the leg, the heel is gonna come down like that. So that's a nice little cheat if you happen to have a light box, you would just have uh, like a front page, a three quarter page, a side page, and a back page. And then you can just flatten them all on top of each other and trace over your basic shapes. And then if you want it on one page, you can trace them back or you don't if you don't have to. Um, but most of you who are going to have one page, you're going to rely on these lines. Back here like that. All right, I know that that was a lot that we went through kind of in one go. Do we have any questions so far? I don't see any. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a while. And if you run into any problems, let me know. Again, I would start wherever you're the most comfortable drawing and then just draw your character's basic shapes. And then it makes it a little easier if you're stuck on one, like you don't ever draw three quarters, draw a front one and a side one. And then three quarters is somewhere in between those two, if that helps. Um, everybody has like one viewpoint that they don't draw very often. 
that's usually the hardest one to get. The way I did the guidelines here, you can also do guidelines on things like bodies, right? So that maybe that's the waist. Same thing here; it's three quarters. It's going to be towards the left, like that. Liliana says, I normally draw three quarters and really can't do front. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, get just worry about the front until you're done. And then if you're going to do, if you're looking to do a three quarter, Instead of this, you just twist it a little bit over for like the nose area. What I'm gonna do, big nose. And then you just remember one eye is gonna be a little tiny, tiny bit smaller than the other eye because it's turned away. And then whatever. Jenny's got. And then you maybe would only see like one ear. If it's human, if it's a animal. If it's an animal, like if they have ears like that, it'd be the same as the eyes. So one ear would be slightly smaller because it's turned away because it's a really weird character here. And if you're really struggling with one view, it's not working out, just move on to another one.
this has been. So relatively quickly, I got down a very, very simple basic character just using basic shapes. And they're all roughly about the same proportion. I, it is messy, so I'd have to go back and um, tie stuff down and really make sure that I've got those proportions working. Um, and another thing that helps if, is if you look at the head and kind of measure with your fingers the size of the head against other parts of the body, that's a popular measurement tool um, to see how tall a character is. Usually cartoon characters are like four heads tall, depending what they are. If they're humanoid, they might be like five or six heads tall. Um, that's another way. So I'm measuring mine one head, two heads is like the middle of the body, lower part of the body. Three is down by the knees. This is like three and the three quarters ish heads tall. I'm not going to draw the hands just yet. I'm going to keep it simple. And then when I go to do the details, then I'll do the hands. But I'm looking at that line and I know the arms are going to go a little bit past this body line here. Do you have a raised hand? Should I get out of? I'll get out yeah. of. There you go. So I have a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. So my character is difficult to draw. Um, so it depends on which pose you draw in, but, um, it's difficult to draw all angles, but one angle, depending on which pose, pose you draw. Um, is there a reason? Yes, there is a reason. So it's just a, it's a pretty basic character. Except it's kind of like a butterfly character. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, depending on which pose I draw the wings in, when I go to turn it around, I don't know what to do. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to share my screen real quick. So there's a couple things you can do. Let me share my screen. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. So there's a couple things you can do. I'm just going to draw like a real rough version of your character. You have like a body. I don't remember what the legs look like, but the point is um, character has big wings like that. So this is the side. No. So from the front, instead of seeing one wing, you would see two wings and they would be behind the character's body. So I would just worry about the body part first. I should have given myself more room. You might 
So it would be like that. Your wings were probably shaped different than this. But basically you would have the character's body and then one wing on each side behind the character. I don't remember what their arms were, you know, but if they have arms, you know, you'd still see their arms. Um, and then from the back, you, instead of mostly seeing the body, you'd mostly see the wings, you know, and then the head would be behind. You kind of see part of the head. So I don't know if you had like a design on the wings for a back pose, you might want to just basically draw just the wings <laughs> and then whatever feet, you know, imagine whatever is visible. Okay, yes. Is what you would draw. I've been having trouble for that. I've been working on this character for months and depending uh -huh. on which different pose I draw it and I have so much trouble, thank you. Yeah, some characters will look better in different poses sometimes, but um, and then sometimes what people do, usually it's with capes, but if you have a character with a really big cape for the model sheet, um, they would draw the body and just like leave out the cape or they would do like an outline, a dotted line like that, of, like where the cape was because it blocks part of the body. So that's an option too, just for like the model sheet. So you can still see the body proportions, um, if that helps, but mostly what you would see would be the front, you would see the two wings behind the character instead of just one, and the back, you would mostly just see the wings. All right, I'm going to stop share again. Do we have any other questions or anyone stuck on a pose? Sometimes it's hard to draw out of your head if you don't normally draw your character from the side or from the front or whatever. It can be difficult. So it looks like everybody's working. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes of work time. And then if anyone has um, their in progress that they want to share, we can go ahead and um, share that. Don't worry if you're not done, because I know it's a lot of drawing. Fiona and Victoria have their hand up. Oh, cool. Hi, guys. Hi. 
I'm just kind of a baby teardrop. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like his sad face. Are you using the lines of the paper to help you? Um, yeah. How tall is? Yeah, yeah, I know. It seems like it helps. Yeah, for sure. Upside down. Oh, upside down. Oh, wow. Cool. So, who's this character? Uh, yeah. Don't know yet. Doesn't have a name yet. I. She found it online and wanted to. Oh, okay. So she's drawing from online. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, she looks. Um, her portions are looking really good. The head's all the same size. The body's all. The same size. Thanks to our mom's help. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to have some help. Very nice. Was anybody else ready to share their in progress stuff? Uh, here's Isaac. Hey, there. Um, so, Ooh, I have okay. been doing that. I'm not terribly good at uh, quarter turns. Mm -hmm. I'm just not very well versed in them. I don't draw them very often. Um, so, is there anything I should be doing that I'm not? Is there is there a specific part that you're, can you push it, um, push it, can you hold it upwards a little bit? There we go, so you can see his whole body. Oh, there Is there any um, part in particular that you're having trouble with, or? Um, not to my knowledge, but there may be something that, I don't know, He's looking you see that I don't? The antenna, I think, okay. looks like it's giving you problems, because it has, the front one, they're wide apart. Oh yeah, that's fair. The other one, they're very close together. That's the only thing that jumps out at me. The head looks great. Thank you. Turn on the head. See like a like an ant kind of or bug like yep. character. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. No problem. Here's Liliana and Heather Rose. Mm-hmm. Hello. Uh, hello. Um let me see if I can just turn off the light table first. Yeah, sure. Here's the first things I drew. Uh huh. This, but these. Uh huh. And then on this other paper, I have these ones. Ooh, nice. So I drew two separate the light box. characters. What was that? I drew two separate characters. Mm hmm. No, that's fine. Yeah, if you finish one and you have other characters, it's a good idea to do like all the characters that you're going to use. Okay. How's, how's the light box? Uh, it works well. It works well. <laughs> yeah, it helps with proportioning. It takes a while to get used to tracing over drawings you did previously, but making them a little different. Yeah. Very cool. Rose, are you ready? You still no. working? Yeah, she's still working. Okay. Okay. We can, we can come back. It looks like someone else has their hand up. Let's see, uh, Des and Max. I don't see their video yet. Okay. Here they are. Hi. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hi. I'm here. Uh, so I only have my proportion so far. I don't have like all the detail, but I thought okay. I, share, I could have share my proportions first. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great place to be where you're just drawing the basic shapes first and then the details yeah. next. Yeah, just to make sure it all. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. What, what's yeah. this, uh, what, what was, what kind of character is this guy? He's a very interesting. I don't really know. He's just this kind of, <laughs> he's this like triangle head guy. I don't know. Like, triangle head guy, okay. <laughs> this diamond head guy, I don't know. Yeah, he looks like he would be made out of like quartz or something. Yeah. But yeah, I used, uh, I remember I had actually gladly taken a class before this actually that was all about like proportions and like drawing uh, like the advanced like stick figure. So mm -hmm. I, I don't got the 3D stick figure yet, but mm -hmm. I got this. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. But thanks. Yeah, very cool. All right.
right, did anybody else have their hand up? Anybody else ready to share? Looks like we're good. All right. Evie's all done. Yeah, you guys can take your time. Don't feel like I'm rushing you. We have plenty of time. Uh, on the chat, someone mentioned um, Romulus uh, is the character on Star versus the Forces of Evil. So he has like a, uh, it's not a diamond, but it's like a gem shaped head. So he kind of looks like that other character that we saw. That's, that's what he means. Yeah, it's a, a crystal head. Yeah. Yeah, if you have any favorite TV shows, um, sometimes you can find uh, model sheets for any animated shows or movies that you guys like. Um, so you can learn a lot about the characters if you can find uh, those model sheets that break down how they're drawn, all the basic shapes. Um, that's a fun way to learn how to draw too. Just looking at characters you like. Cat has her hand raised. Yes. So I'm not done with all my um, positions, but I wanted to share what I have so far. Awesome. Yeah, it's looking good. The wings are all the same size. Are you yes. gonna do? Um, are you are you gonna do a back view? Yes, I am. I'll I'll probably do that next then the three quarter view mm -hmm. probably won't have time to finish in class since i already spent 40 minutes on the first two but Wait, there's no rush yeah it's good to just get this part down and then do all the little details yeah yeah but it's looking good Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wing characters are always extra challenging. <laughs> Um, I would want to say, I like drawing creatures with wings, I just can't, I was always having trouble with the side view things mm -hmm. and the back view until I figured it out. Like, mm -hmm. if you want to have a, an overlay, just like, I like to draw little thin beside my wings, kind of like, I just drew it really light right here, I'm not sure if you can see, mm -hmm. but then that's how you do side view wings, or if you... You have one covering up the other. That's how you do it. Just one wing. Yeah, one one will cover up the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> was that a question or was that a? Uh no no I don't know I was spotlighted for a second. Okay. I didn't know if that was on purpose or not. Yeah. We have about 15 minutes. So don't feel rushed. You have plenty of time. Elite Puppy has his hand up. Cool. Nine. Huh? Whoa. So tell us about this character. So I couldn't find anything to draw that was like good. So I just drawed him. Okay. You just felt like drawing him? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which view is that one? Sorry, I'm trying to. Is that from the side or? Oh, I see. So is that one from the side? Which one? The little character that you drew? Oh, that, that was supposed to be a space person. Oh, okay. Oh, for size? Uh. I don't
So we have about 10 minutes left. Um, we're going to come back and do this again next week. So I'm going to tell you real quick um, what we're going to do with that. So we don't run out of time. Um, but you feel free to keep drawing. Um, next Wednesday, when we come back, we're going to be doing action poses to round out our model sheets. Uh, so bring um, whatever you've drawn of your character so far. Um, and then we're going to draw them in action. So what actions your characters are going to do is going to depend on what type of personality character you have. So not every character is going to be doing the same thing. So um, if you haven't quite figured out your character yet over the week, um, try to think about what kind of personality your character would have. Um, things like, are they an older person or are they a younger person? Um, like, where do they live? Not all your characters um, would live in a house. Some of you guys have like more animalistic characters that maybe would live outside, maybe they would still live in a house, you know. Um, are they generally a sad person? Are they generally like a happy-go-lucky, like joyful person? Are they generally an angry person? Um, so the more that you know about your character, the easier it's going to be the next week um, when we're figuring out what kind of actions to put your character in. Um, so just take some time between now and next Wednesday to think about what kind of character you have. Um, so then when we start doing action poses, you're not stuck thinking, would my character run ever? So some, some of you have characters that would maybe, you know, run around often. And then some of you don't, you'd have characters that will never run um, or what have you. So that's just something to keep in mind for next week. I know we have some hands up. Let's yeah, see. let's go to Liliana and Heather Rose. Yeah, before I run out of time, let's do all that show and tell. Hello. Okay, well, I just, I did it on like, I did one on like different pages. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, there it is. Cool. So which view is this one? Uh, back. Back. Very nice. And uh, here's like a three quarter. Three quarter. Uh huh. I see all your guidelines there. The side. Side. Then uh, I have. Right here. Awesome. Yeah, so you, are you ready for um, details? You got all the basic shapes in there? Yeah? There's a picture of my character, like as he normally is. Here we go. Character. What kind of character is um, this person? Uh, a, a bug type character with his antennas? Or is he's he a mythical a creature. I don't know what he is. Different things. Yeah, it looks like, like if you put a bug in a deer together like, <laughs> like that's that's what it looked like to me very cool and his name's Flo Flo or Flo 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 okay that's awesome are you gonna do that um next week that character um probably probably yeah very cool all right um we had some other hands up Scott did you see who had their hand up next yes uh Vienna and Victoria Hello. And Evie's oh, next. Uh, and I did a uh, side and back. Uh huh. That's awesome. Is this a baby teardrop? Yes. Yeah. That's and awesome. I added a diaper. Uh huh. With the diaper. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that one. That's super cool. Does your teardrop have a name yet? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Although I'm still working on. Yeah, yeah. that's something to think about. I think the teardrop needs a name. Uh, still, still coloring. Oh, Vicky, hurry up! We're running out of time. It's okay if it's if it's not totally done yet. Yeah, it's okay. Done. Awesome! Look at all that hair. Even though I haven't finished the cake. That's okay. A lot of people are still working. So you, are you going to bring that next, uh, next week? 
Uh, I already did my that one. Yeah. So I think I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> the next one, she's going to move along. Oh, we have anybody else with their hand up? Um, Evie had her hand up, but she had to leave. She's going to join in a minute. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think so. Anybody who hasn't done yet? We'll only have four more minutes. Don't worry if you're not done yet. A lot of people aren't done yet. All right, looks like Evie's back. Okay. Evie, are you ready to share? Yes, Evie, you can share. Oh, she can't hear. Okay. So I had to move. So here we go. Ooh, awesome. Lift it up a little bit more. Yeah. Here we go. Um, the tail. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can see the whole thing. Cool. Oh. Do you have like a name for the character yet? Are you still working on that? His name is Ollie or Oliver, but Ollie. Okay, yeah. Oliver. Very cool. Are Are you going to use Oliver for next week? Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. All right. Last chance for anyone else to share. Can I share my back view real quick so far? Sure. Um, this is, I just decided to kind of take your advice and do it to keep the body proportions and then I'm going to draw in the wings and kind of like dots. Okay. Uh, so they're like see-through wings? Just so you can see the body? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For now, at least. I might change it later okay. today or tomorrow or sometime in the next week very cool did um does the butterfly have a name yet or are you still working on that yes her name is gracie gracie that's good for a butterfly and she has curly antenna uh-huh yeah i like her antennas it's kind of like springy hair and can i actually mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, we only have one more minute. So if you haven't shared yet, it's your last chance. Okay, well, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Um, again, next week, action poses. So bring your characters. Um, write down anything you think about what your character's personality would be like, what kind of things they do. Um, and then we'll be good to go. Um, yeah, same time next Wednesday. And then that's going to be the last class for the model sheets. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.